What advice would you have for young people? We have a lot of young listeners, like high school, college age gals. And of course, we started this podcast because we were thinking about our own daughters. But what advice would you have for them? I think my advice is just two words, and it's straightforward, and it's fear not. We see this over and over in scripture, right? When God comes with a mission or a proclamation of what he's (laughs) going to do and how we get scared. We have nothing to be scared of. I can tell you I've lived through difficult things. Most of us have, right? But assault, betrayal, loss. I mean, like we live through these things. And at the end of the day, God redeems our lives for his glory. And so many of the things, I think we often feel a lot of pressure to make the right decision. What is God's will for my life? I don't know that there always is one will other than the one will to live a life that glorifies him and lives out his purposes, Mm -hmm. right? And so there are many paths we can take. And I wish I had known as a younger person, just let it go. It doesn't really matter because if your intent is to turn it over to God to make something beautiful with, you don't have to stress about the decisions. And I look back at my own career. I mean, choices. I was a research and development engineer. I was married to a fighter pilot. We couldn't go to the same location. So I switched my career to civil engineering, which was less aligned with what I thought I wanted to do. But God gave me these amazing leadership experiences of leading teams of thousands of people in a much more diverse workforce. And then I went off and did international relations things. And it's like, oh, I'm all over the place. How does this like build a coherent career? But it was because I prioritized my family. And I look back and I I couldn't be doing what I'm doing if I hadn't had all those experiences. And there's no way I could have planned that. So just being Mm -hmm. open to like, God shines a light on our path, not the whole future and see those opportunities. I mean, I took opportunities because someone would call me and say, hey, I have this problem. I think you'd be good at helping me to solve it. I'd love to work with you again. Do you wanna come do this? And I said yes to those things Mm -hmm. because they worked out in my priorities. And now I see, you know, again, we don't always see it coming together, but I can look back and say, Thank God I let go of some of that control because God can use it all for his glory. So don't stress so much, fear not, and just look for the little light on the next step in the path.